My God, I remember saying, I mean, if we just talk for a second about HS2. So Finishes in Litchfield, though, doesn't he? Well, just beyond, <laughs> he's laying it by another two years. 1930, uh, sorry, 2034, 2036, they think it might, that leg might be finished. And it was crazy. I remember being with um, David Cameron. So the original plan was very good. The original proposal drawn up by consulting engineers, yeah. um, a Swedish firm, a Swedish-British firm of engineers called Arup Consulting. And Arup Consulting had the scheme. It was going to go up via the M40. It would have been very cheap because it wouldn't have been tunnelled, it would have been alongside the motorway, it would have been a lot neater, you know? Not intrusive. And then what happens? You've got this guy called Lord Adonis, who was the Labour Transport Secretary in the dying days of Gordon Brown's government, who says, oh, no, we must go at ultra-high speed. So he gets a ruler and draws a straight line on the map. So that meant it would have originally would have gone crashing through Bowley Park mm. in Litchfield. So I managed to get it shifted more to the east. So now it goes east of Street A. But anyways, the point was that it did have to be tunnelled huge distances under the Chiltern Hills, which is costing mm. an absolute fortune. Originally, with the Arab proposal, it would have gone to Waterloo, I think, and linked with HS1, which is great. It means you would have got on the train at Manchester or Birmingham. And incidentally, at Birmingham, they were going to excavate extra platforms yeah. on the Birmingham New Street, right. which meant that, like, from Litchfield, if that, this plan had gone ahead, you'd go into Birmingham New Street, change platforms get on HS2, and it would sail all its way down, not just to London, but to Paris and beyond. Now, that would okay. have been worthwhile. Instead, you get a non-engineer coming along, non-business-like guy, who says, no, I want to just go at ultra-high speed between London and Birmingham, draws a line on the map. So, I remember saying to David Cameron, in round about 2010, look, go back to the original scheme. And he came back to me a few days later and he said, well, I can't do that, Michael, because my plan is we must get this first stage to Birmingham complete and ready for the 2015 general election. I said, you'll never, you'll never complete it by 2015.